Hello guys and gals and welcome to another episode of Unique Items. Today we're going to be looking at a pair of gloves, a, uh, a ghoulish pair of gloves, shall we, uh, known as Ghoulhide Heavy Bracers. The Ghoulhide Heavy Bracers are 130 defense, uh, and they do vary a bit, uh, with a strength requirement of 58 and a level requirement of 36. Uh, the level requirement on these is pretty important because one of the main effects on these is based on character level. And uh, we also have a 5% uh, mana stolen per hit, 190% defense, which does vary between 150 to 190, and uh, a bonus of 20 life. Uh, the mana steal also varies between 4 to 5%, which is only a 1% variance, but, uh, but it's still there. Now, the main effect on these that seems to be the draw to these particular items is the undead damage. Uh, so it has 198% undead damage based on character level, uh, with a Basically, it's plus two per level. So you can pretty much just take the level requirement of the item and multiply it by two, um, and you would end up with, uh, what is that, uh, 42, 50, 60, 70. So 72 is uh, the percent damage that you would get from this on a on-level character with the item. Uh, max level, it's, of course, going to be 198%. And it also gives you attack rating based on character level, which is plus eight per character level all the way up to 792. So these uh, seem to be revolved almost specifically around the process of killing undead. Now, how does undead damage work? Well, the easiest way for me to show you how undamaged damage works is to explain to you what off-weapon ED is. So on-weapon ED is when the enhanced damage is specifically on the weapon. And this does not function as on weapon ed um, instead how this functions is off weapon ed um, and the easiest way to show you what off weapon ed is is to go to a character who has off weapon ed as one of his main skills uh, which is might so might functions very similarly to the way that uh, that that undead damage does except it applies to all damage instead of just simply to undead monsters so for instance, if we were to take our Might Aura, which has 80% ED, um, we would end up with an increase in damage. So right now, uh, let's go to uh, any other skill, it doesn't matter. So we have 216 to 217 damage with our Smite, and when we put Might on with 80% enhanced, we go to 253 to 254. So as you can see, it's not as big of a bonus as you might think. Um, and let's go over to a character that I know has uh, a higher level of... Uh, of this, which I believe is my uh, test paladin. And uh, where's my test paladin? My test paladin! Not you, you're level one. That's not the correct paladin. I'm pretty sure he has level 20, which, if I remember correctly, level 20 is 200%, which is closer to what the ghoul hides are. Uh, when they are in their, their optimal form. So yes, 230%. So this is going to be a little bit better, even, than uh, the ghoul hides are applying. And uh, let me see if I can give him any weapon better than uh, Death's Touch War Sword, just so that he has a little bit uh, higher physical damage. Um, something that will uh, will assist him. Give me just a second, and I'll uh, I'll pull something out. All right, here we go. So I've got him swapped out to a Butcher's Pupil. And uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take um, the skill and we're going to show you his damage without any type of, uh, of modifier. So let's take off the poison damage. Um, so he's running 336 to 835 damage without Might. And uh, after applying Might, you will see that he goes to 474 to 1178. Uh, let me go ahead and put these on uh, some skills real quick. So you can see here that uh, that was absolutely the wrong skill. You can see here that we get a nice little bump in damage by having a 200% uh, a or 230% might. Um, and that is essentially the same exact bump in damage that you would get for using ghoul hides. Um, but only versus the undead monsters. Um, and I like to point this out because a lot of people kind of get confused on the percent bonus of damage. They think that it's a lot more than it actually is. And, um, and it, it, it is a nice bonus, don't get me wrong, but it's not as good of a bonus as a lot of people think. Um, now, if you were to combine this with other effects, like, for instance, it will stack with Might. So, for instance, if you use this on top of Might, you would have the bonus for Might, and you would also have the bonus 
from the Ghoulhide Heavy Bracers. Um, everything that is considered off-weapon ED essentially just adds together. Um, so if you have 200% might and you have 198% um, Ghoulhide Heavy Bracers, let's just round it up to, to 400 uh, 200. So it would be 200 plus 200%, which would be a total of 400% to that, to off-weapon ED. Uh, but only versus the undead monsters. Um, if somebody else was in the group who had fanaticism, you would get the ED from that, and that would add to the total as well. And uh, you could continually stack up this this undead damage all the way up to a relatively high amount. And um, and you could be running 1,000 or maybe even 2,000% off weapon damage if you have a whole lot of different sources all applying this bonus to you. Uh, so keep that in mind. It really seems to me like Ghoulhide Heavy Bracers are a swap two item. Whenever I see massive amounts of demon damage or massive amounts of undead damage, I always think like this is something that you could keep in your cube or something. And uh, you know, like say if you were normally using I don't know um, uh, like steel rends or something, or maybe you were using. Um, Laying of Hands, which is the uh, demon damage ones, right? So you can have these in the stash, and if you ran across, the, like, you know, you were in the tombs, and you were fighting a bunch of undead monsters, or maybe you're in Chaos Sanctuary, where there's a whole lot of undead monsters, you could swap to, uh, to ghoul hides. You could utilize them for a little while, um, and then, of course, when you leave, you'd take them off and go back to your normal setup. Uh, probably you take them off before you even leave, because uh, Diablo is a demon, and uh, you would want to take these off and put the Laying of Hands back on for the demon damage. And um, you can, of course, upgrade these, too, and that's interesting. So let's go ahead and upgrade these, and let's see what it does, shall we? So uh, right off the bat, you see that we've got uh, Ghoulhide Heavy Gracer Bracers with 130 defense, 58 strength, level 36 requirement. To upgrade these, we're going to need a Lemrune, a Korune, and a Perfect Diamond. And uh, this will upgrade to the Vambraces. So we go to 182 defense, 106 strength requirement with a level 58 requirement on those, which is actually not bad. The, the strength requirement is not too high. I would actually consider that decent. The uh, level 58 requirement is actually not too high either, and uh, I think that's actually a solid upgrade. If you actually did plan to use these, I would consider upgrading them uh, because, honestly, um, it's really not a bad upgrade at all. Uh, a low-level character or a high-level character, whatever character you're putting these on, would get the same benefit um, because the enhanced damage goes up with level. Um, the attack rating versus those monsters goes up with level. And, of course, as your damage scales, so does the percent also scale and make that damage higher. Um, the real downside to these gloves is just that they're targeting one specific type of monster. Um, a lot of people don't like to put on equipment that only helps them versus one particular type of monster. Demon damage tends to be a little bit more sought after than undead damage because demon damage is useful on all the bosses. So uh, Bale, Diablo, Mephisto, Andariel, Duriel, and... Um, Am I missing one? Uh, <laughs> uh, are all demons. And so um, so getting that extra nice bonus to demons is great, but uh, undead uh, damage doesn't do anything versus them. So, uh, so it's important to keep that in mind. Um, all in all, I think that these are very niche gauntlets, and uh, it's something that you would use for a very specific build. I actually had a build in mind, and this is kind of a silly build, but I'm good at silly builds, so why not? Um, this character was specifically designed for undead damage. I had this idea that I would build like a zeal paladin um, around sanctuary. So I would use sanctuary, zeal, I would use ghoul hide, van braces, um, I would use every form of bonus damage to undead that I could get my hands on. Like for instance, um, the bonus damage to undead which is on chains of honor and, uh, and so forth and so on. And every single piece of equipment I would have would have massive amounts of bonus damage to undead. Um, and I would sanctuary roll in for me as well. And then I would take that character into, uh, into places with massive amounts of undead and I would just have fun with it. Um, you know, go into Canyon of the Magi and, and do the tombs and, and uh, do Chaos Sanctuary and, and things like that. And just have fun doing massive amounts of damage to all undead monsters. Um, <laughs> it's a silly build, and I know it. Uh, and you don't need to tell me that. Um, I was even thinking that I would probably build uh, Max Fanaticism, and then I would use Azur Wrath for the uh, Sanctuary. But I also kind of wanted to go the other route and perhaps use a Beast 
so that fanaticism was coming uh, in from a different source, and then really max out Sanctuary to have the highest level Sanctuary possible. thought that would be kind of fun. Um, and if you don't know anything about Sanctuary, Sanctuary is an aura for Paladins that um, supposedly increases your damage versus Undead, but it actually reduces their physical resistance, uh, which makes the damage that you deal to them so much better. Um, anyway, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos. And uh, the last thing we'll cover before I leave is uh, where you can find this item. So let's go over really quickly and let's see where you can find ghoul hides. So ghoul hides are a uh, treasure class 45 item with a Q level of 44. And uh, that means that they're going to drop pretty much everywhere in Act 2 Nightmare and up. And you will probably also find them in Act 1 Cows in Nightmare Difficulty. Um, and of course, you'll find them pretty much everywhere in Hell Difficulty. Um, and Dariel might drop them. Not 100% sure on that. But you'll definitely get them from uh, Duriel, um, Mephisto, Diablo, Bale. Really just depends on whether they drop you a pair of Heavy Bracers. And the Heavy Bracers roll unique. Anyway, as always, I do appreciate you guys watching my videos. And uh, keep watching.